guys, <clears throat> uh, you've seen this power supply in my videos before, and uh, when I go to transmit on this thing, I get like a buzzing inside of it. The power supply is supposed to be rated for 10 amp constant and a 12 amp surge, but I don't think this power supply is putting out 10 amps. I think there's some kind of failure after after happening inside of this of some sort or another. And um, I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, clean up this power supply and uh, fix any issues that it may have. Or try at least to diagnose any issues that it may have and try to repair them. In any case, this, power, this uh, small series of videos is going to be about the Pyramid model PS12KX 10 amp. 12 amp surge power supply. So, if you're interested in watching a little bit about this power supply, maybe learn a thing or two, then stand by. Let's get this show on the road. And uh, as I like to do with any type of equipment that I'm planning on working on, especially when it comes to AC, is I cut off the cord right away. As such. Now I have no other choice but to repair it. Again, Pyramid PS12KX. So I've taken the cover off the power supply, and uh, here is the 12 amp uh, power supply, or I should say transformer, and uh, it is marked PE12K. That transformer should be capable easy of at least 5 amps for sure. 6 amps, 5 amps. But most of the current, as I've said before with these pyramid radio, pyramid power supplies, your actual current amplifiers are these two here. And these are, let's see if I can bring them up here. If anybody is used to working on power supplies like myself will know. That the current amps in any type of these power supplies is a 2N3055. Two 2N3055. Two if either one of these fails, then either then there's a couple things that could happen with these power supplies. Either uh, problem one, no voltage at all. Zip zilt nada, because the current amp could actually be shorted. Another thing that could actually happen is that the current the current rating of the power supply what it originally was it doesn't make that same amount of current anymore so instead of this thing putting out a 10 amp it could now only be possibly putting out whatever the transformer itself is capable of which could be 5 amps or 4 amp which as you know in some of my videos I've tried keying up on this thing using this radio or use power supply on the radio key up the radio and you get a buzzing inside this thing. So that leads me to believe that there's some sort of failure on the inside of this power supply of some sort. Either it being the current amps or something on the board layer, on the board itself. The uh, diodes are super heavy duty ones. They're six amp diodes, so there's no problem at all for these to generate enough current. And there's your two main filter capacitors. Two of them being 4700 UF at 25 volt. That's the two filter caps here, and that's your bridge rectifier. And uh, so this thing do have a chip, IC chip. It controls pretty much the voltage. It does all most of the regulating is right here on this chip. And it is a KA723. So if anybody has one of these power supplies and this chip literally explodes, well you know what now you know what that chip is. It's a KA723. And you also have another chip right here. It's a tip uh 41C. So let's uh let's replace this AC cord first. Then I'm going to get my ohmmeter, my voltage ohmmeter. Set it up for 10 amps, and we're going to put a load on this power supply and see what, in fact, this thing is capable of producing. And 
myself, I doubt very much that this power supply is producing enough amperage that it's ready to do. It should be rated for 10 amp. I think it's actually producing less than that. So, we shall see. So, keep watching guys. So anyway, let's start by replacing the AC cord. The first thing you have to do is remove the old grommet. These things can be a bit of a nuisance to uh, to uh, replace or even take out <laughs> if anybody's worked on electro electronics before. So then we got to take the wires, snip them off of the old areas from there, and one also goes up to the switch. So we take those off. Pull the old wire, save the grommet, because we're going to need that again. And then we replace it with the new wire, which is a grounded wire. And that's now going to be put in there and wired in. Alright, the new cord is in, grommet is replaced, and these can be a proper nuisance to put in. Yeah. Care if you don't pinch your fingers. Ouch. So anyways. Let's uh, get a lug on the green wire. And uh, then get this all fired up. So green is your ground. And the other two is your hot and neutral. So let's get our word. Alright. There's the tree prong plug. This one here is always your ground. And then you get your neutral and your and your hot on the other two pins. So the hot goes to the fuse, the neutral goes to the transformer, and your green goes to chassis. So there we go. The uh, AC cord has now been replaced on the Pyramid PS12KX and so far one injury which now has turned into a blood blister <laughs> awesome anyways let's uh next video there we'll try out the uh, power supply and see if she's still doing the buzz 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 thing Alright guys, got the power supply, the Pyramid PS12KX hooked up. AC cord has been replaced as you can see, obviously. So, now we're going to see if we get any buzzing out of this power supply. Seemed to me like I was getting it out of the transformer. But, uh, we shall see. Core 138. Test one two one two one two one two one two. And that's uh, when I had modulation turned up. So test one two one two. Testing one two one two one two one two one two. Hello, audio. One two three four five. Test 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 test. Test one two one two one two one two. Testing one two one two one two one two. No, nope, no wasn't. So I'm believing that that AC core had a lot to do with, I guess, <laughs> the shitty connection that was there. I'd say that was probably causing a lot of uh, issues there. So she got a brand new AC cord. So anyway. Put the cover back on her, put her back up on the shelf up there, hook the radio back up, and see what she does then. So far, we have a buzzing problem repaired. Alright, power supply is hooked up again. Core 138. Test 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Test 1, 2. Test 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Test 1, 2. Test 1, 2, 3. Test one two one two three. So there we go. No buzzing from the pyramid. PS12KX. 
problem appears to be because of a botched AC cord uh, modification, I would call it. Anyways, take care guys.